Hi everybody. So today when I looked in the mirror, I thought, oh my gosh, I just feel tired and I felt I look tired and I, today I really want to give my skin a good boost. But more importantly, I was looking at my decollete and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've got more sun damage from this summer, just driving and not protecting that V like I usually do. So I want to give my skin a boost. I want to work on my decollete a little bit and I want to show you how I give my skin a boost, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna start off, first we're gonna take off the eye makeup. And I use the K-Cleanser, I put it on cotton, two pieces of cotton here, and that's the, um, the Rejuvi K-Cleanser. Um, and what's great about the Rejuvi K-Cleanser is that it, uh, it really cleans off the eye makeup. Um, it doesn't sting your eye, but it really cleans and does a really nice job of cleaning off the eye makeup. And, um, and so I like to do that first before I then go for the rest of the face. And as you can see, <clears throat> it's really, sorry. <laughs> as you can see, it's really, um, it's really great, you know, and it's, it's what's really nice is that it's, it's a nice light gel, it doesn't sting the eyes, and we want not stinging for sure. So, so there we go, so that's my eye makeup. And of course I look pretty black around there because I, I did have on a really nice thick mascara. So now we're gonna do the cleansing. And the cleansing, I'm also using the K-Cleanser. So you, you, use a, you use the K-Cleanser on clean, dry hands. You don't have wet hands. And, and then you start to work it in. So I, um, I have a German forehead, guys, so I apologize. You're looking at a really large forehead here. Um, but because my great-grandparents were German. On my mother's side is English. So my mother had really beautiful, beautiful skin. And my dad has really good skin too, but, um, but we all have that large forehead. And so uh, is what it is, you know? Can't do anything about that one. So roughly what I like to tell people is, you know, when you are wearing sunblock, you want to make sure that you take your cleanser down onto your neck because usually you have put sunblock here as well. So you wanna make sure that you are really doing a great job at cleansing the whole face and the neck area. And I tell people to count to 30. 30 seconds is really important and it's important to double cleanse, especially if you've been wearing makeup like I do and um, my makeup is my sunblock as well. Okay, so we did that. Now I'm just going to get a warm towel out of my hot cabbie and we're going to use a nice water pearl. And you wanna make sure that your, your towels have a little bit of texture. So here's my makeup coming off here. Um, you want your towels to have texture because you don't want it to be too soft because if it's too soft, it's not going to clean your skin well enough. So, I wanna make sure it does really good on the texture. Remember, this is a boost. I'm doing a boost tonight. So, I wanna use some, my retinal formula. I wanna do things a little bit stronger. And so we're gonna be doing the retinal formulas and some stronger retinal mask so I'm going to show you how that's all done so that's one that's one cleanse and there's my my towel okay so that's one now we're going to do another cleanse which is going to be now my second cleanse and again I'm going to work it into the skin you want to make sure especially if you're oily and you have blackheads you want to make sure that you're really doing your cleansing well here and around the nose you know a lot of people get those little bumps around the mouth or blackheads around the sides of the lips so you want to make sure too that you're really cleaning well around your mouth so and in your eyebrows if you've got like full eyebrows you want to make sure that you're going back and forwards and you're getting out anything that's in the brow whether it be an eyebrow pencil or if you have a fuller brow and you are more oily, you can sometimes get a lot of congestion in the brow area. So you wanna make sure that you you know, clean well there. Around your hairline too, 
You want to make sure you clean your skin really, really good around the outsides. That's why it's important to tie your hair back um, so that you get it off your face and um, and that way. And you want to make sure you take your cleanser down onto your neck and your decollete so that you're cleansing everything really good. So, okay. Okay, now this is the second cleanse. I'm going to open the hot cabbie and get another towel. All right, towel number two. And hopefully you won't see as much makeup on this one. Seeing we've already done our main cleanse. And again, I'm just going to go back and forwards in the eyebrows a little bit just to make sure that we really clean that hair follicle, those hair follicles well. Okay, so we've cleaned off really good there and I've done the decollete really good because I want to, I want to give it a boost down there. So as you can see, there's my towel. So it still has a little bit. So the second cleanse was definitely worth it, right? So now, um, as you can see on my skin, I have lots of freckles. And my freckles, I used to have them really, really dark. But because, you know, because I'm a fairer skin, I'm also Australian, we have this, the highest skin cancer rate in the world in Australia. So, um, you know, very little ozone layer to protect the skin from the sun. Um, so, you know, I, I keep my freckles lighter because I'm using retinols and AHAs. And, uh, and because of that, it makes my skin a little photosensitive. So I've got to make sure that I'm wearing a really good sunscreen or sunblock. I like the physical blocks, your titanium, zinc, your iron oxides, just to protect your skin. And then I also have my, um, my powders, which is my labella donna up there behind me. And, um, or Color Science is another one, but I use um, Labella Donna at the moment and I love it. And I've, I've used Labella Donna for a really long time. They have the, the, the powder which I carry in my purse as an extra sunblock. So as you can see by the coloring of my skin, I definitely need um, sunblock and, uh, and a really good one because I'm so fair. So, um, so what I'm gonna do now is I cleanse my skin off twice. I'm gonna now do an exfoliant. And I'm going to use the exfoliating mask, which is a Rejuvi exfoliating mask. And this one here, it, it, um, it's got the papaya in it, the papaya enzyme, papua, and it also has a little bit of glycolic. And it's got lemon peel powder and chamomile. And uh, it's a really nice exfoliant. And sometimes, you know, if you get a little bit of KP on your arms, you can use it on your arms as well. But I'm going to use it on my face, and I'm also gonna take it down onto my my neck and my decollete because I'm seeing I have more sun damage down here now and I have not been as diligent about wearing my um, my sunscreen when I just take a quick trip quick trip in the car and I'm, I haven't been putting it down here quite as much as I usually do so I'm um, I've got to change that not happy with my decollete at the moment so we're going to change that up so I'm just going to show you how I'm giving my face my neck and decollete a boost right now um, it's important because you know as we get older you want to really make sure that you are protecting this part of your body because you don't want to get it all wrinkly you know it um, it ages on its own fast enough so God forbid we get uh, extra sun on it that is not going to be good so here we have um, here we have my exfoliant and now this one I'm only going to leave on a couple of minutes I can feel it tingling a little bit um, I'm used to using retinols and AHAs on a regular basis so it doesn't sting too much on my face but just a little bit but I definitely want to um, want to help my decollete right now so that's going to be a good one okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a cooler cloth and I'm going to take that off um, we don't want to use heat because this is already uh, it has glycolic in it so you don't want to use heat when you've done something with glycolics you want to keep the water cool and um, you don't want to overdo it so we're gonna, gonna take this one here they used us right so I'm gonna take this cooler cloth and take this off 
So I just worked it in for a minute. I'm not someone who exfoliates my skin very often, like maybe twice a year, hardly at all, because I use retinols and AHAs. I don't have surface dryness on my skin, and I also don't have, um, I don't have a lot of, you know, dead cell buildup, and that's only because I use on a regular basis AHAs and retinols. So if you don't have surface dryness and you don't have congestion, and you, um, I'm just doing it tonight because I want to just give it a little bit of a buffer back so that when I go to put my retinols on, I am going to be using stronger tonight than I normally use on a daily basis, just because this, remember, is a boost. And boosts are really great to do on the skin once every so often when you're feeling like you, you just need to give your skin a revamp, you know, so that's something that's really important. Okay, we've got that off now. And that was a cool, cool towel that I used. So the next thing that I'm gonna put on my skin is a little bit of healing gel. Uh, I like to use healing gel after I do the exfoliant because the skin is a little bit tingly, a little stingy on the skin, and uh, the healing gel is mostly aloe vera, so it's 98% aloe vera, and it's just a very light gel, but it's soothing and calming, and, um, and I want soothing and calming. So we're gonna do this on the skin. And now that I've got this on the skin, and what I'm going to do, because after you do an exfoliant um, and the skin's a little bit stingy, I'm gonna use my cryo sticks right now on myself. And I'm just going to use that on my face. And my cryo sticks are uh, very cold. Um, I keep them in the freezer and I use them here uh, on my clients uh, after I do AHAs, stronger things on them. So as you can see, I'm a little bit pink and that is because I've done, I've used um, the exfoliating mask and the exfoliating mask does have AHA and it has glycolic. So I'm just going to work over my face with the cryo sticks for a minute and I'm gonna do up around the eyes. I really, I love the cryo sticks. They're so wonderful, so amazing and they're really nice. And what does ice, what does cold do? You know, for people that have inflammation in the skin, it's so wonderful, but it's also really nice when you do like a booster on your skin at home, you've done an AHA, it's a little strong, you've used something on your skin that's a little tingly and you wanna just sort of calm it and soothe it. It's really, really nice. They're really nice to, you know, for puffy eyes too, to just hold over your eyes. If you wake up and you're a little bit puffy in the morning and so you just want to keep them moving they're very very cold and just keep it moving over the face so my neck and my decollete are not at all sensitive um, they're not tingling at all right now so I'm not going to worry about using the cryo on my neck and decollete even though I'm a little bit pink down there but I really, uh, I just really want to use this on my face and just around my jaw a little bit. Okay, and I've got healing gel on, so you want to have something on your skin that the that um, the cryo sticks can glide, you know, across. You don't want to put it on dry skin, um, so you want to have something on the skin so that you can do this. And okay. I'm just gonna drain just once, just down here, because I'm gonna do some more work with massage in a moment, so we'll just do a little bit here. Okay, so now I've, I've ex cleansed, I've exfoliated, I've done my cryo sticks, um, I've got a little healing gel on my face too. I'm going to work in some of my treatment products now. So the first thing I'm gonna work in is a little bit of my eye gel into my eyes, and or around my eyes, I should say, not into my eyes, but around my eyes. So I'm gonna put, put my eye gel on in a complete circle. And you see, I'm putting it below the bone here. This one does not have any AHA or retinols in it. So, um, you know, and that's nice because retinols and AHAs, you do have to be very careful when using them around the eye because the eye area already is very thin. So you wanna be really careful. And uh, if you are using an eye product that has retinols and AHAs in it. Okay, so that was um, that was the eye gel that we just put on. Now I'm going to work in my Q flavonoid, and as you know, the Q flavonoid is quite dark in color. This is the one that's got vitamin P, vitamin K. It's got arnica in it, 
and uh, and I'm gonna work that into my skin because I'm gonna do a massage on my skin so we're working that into the skin and this one here is the Rejuvi Q flavonoid and I I just really love it it's it's a great product and uh, it really feeds the skin a lot of nutrients and um, our skin needs feeding so I'm just going to work this into the skin. I'm going to put it down here onto the decollete as well because, you know, it helps with little blood vessels. It helps with lightening brown spots. And uh, I have quite a few of those at the moment. So I'm going to lighten that up. Now, the next one I'm using, I'm putting on is my retinol formula. And my retinol is yellow in color. There we go. And it's a professional product, this one, but it comes in, um, the retinol serum also comes half strength in retail version for the consumers. Um, so we're working this in. Now, this is a retinol, and I really, really love retinols. Um, they're an incredible boost on the skin, and I'm actually going to use this one around my eyes. I've already put the, the Q flavonoid on my eye area. And I've got the eye gel, but I am going to use it around my eyes. And I only use it around my eyes you just maybe a couple of times a month. I don't do it that often. But again, I'm just giving my skin a really good boost today because that's what I want to do. So we are going to massage the skin. Now, if you don't have um, any uh, little massage tools, you can use your knuckles and you can work it this way, which is very often what I'm doing at home um, because I don't have... A lot of tools at home I like to work with my hands a lot and uh, you know just work it all in here so I'm a big one in massage a big believer in massage huge believer but if you have some of your tools you can use different ones right so we have some different ones here and I like you can use your tools if sometimes for people that just can't maneuver the tools right well um, or maneuver their hands I'm sorry well on the face and sometimes having these tools is easier because it's easier to get to areas and um, and you just want to do upward movements here you can do across the forehead too with your tools and you can also do them up this way Want to make sure you do your little 11s in there and anything that you can do around to support the brows is also it feels really nice and it's nice and relaxing so you want to do that so i'm getting a lot of color in my skin right now you're seeing i'm getting quite red and my skin is feeling warm and that's because not only because i'm massaging the skin and i'm getting blood circulating i've also got a retinol on and i've got a pretty strong retinol i've got a professional retinol it is um, obviously not prescription strength but it is still a retinol. So what we're doing down here is I just want to do a little drainage down here. And um, and these ones are really nice. So I'm, uh, it's easier to use a tool down here on the decollete. Um, but just don't forget the backs and the sides here. You know, you don't want to forget this part of your neck here, guys, because you know, you get sun on it sometimes and it needs work. So you just don't want to forget to put your treatment creams there. Like you also don't want to forget to put your sunblock as well. So this is, so these tools are really, gua sha tools are really nice to use. And you can use it around your lip, you know, just to get some movement there. I like it in around the jawline because that's my area where you know we all get jarling and this really helps if you you get jarling as you get older which really is unfortunate because everything else about getting older is actually pretty fantastic I have to say it's uh, okay so you work that in a little bit gently around here just over the directly down the neck you want to be gentle but these tools they it does help to have something Okay, so we've worked that into the skin. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to leave, look how red I am. I'm really quite red. I've worked and I've massaged my skin a lot here. So I've got a lot of, I've got heat. I can feel heat too. Um, got a lot of movement here. Uh, strong retinol, done AHA, which was in 
my exfoliating mask as well. So I've got a lot of color here, a lot of redness. Um, I'm going to use a mask on my skin now that does have a little bit of retinol in it also, and it's a firming mask. So what I'm going to do is, uh, the firming mask, is put that on. Now the reason I really like the Rejuvi Firming Mask is because it does not dry. And I'm not a huge fan of drying masks because unless you're super oily with no surface dryness, but also just on more mature skin or a thinner skin, it's just not necessary to use drying masks unless you're really oily and, uh, and have an acnetic skin and um, you know, you're using it, because every mask has a purpose. So if it has purpose for you and it's drying, then that's okay. But if it doesn't have purpose, then there's so many other great masks that you can use that are not drying that are really fantastic. So as you can see, it's also pulling through some of the yellow. Now it's pulling through some of the yellow as I work it in to the skin because a couple of reasons. One is because it does have retinol in it also, the mask I'm using. But the other reason is because I have retinol and the Q-flavonoid and both have a, a yellowy color anyway. So it's quite yellow here. But the great thing about this one is it's a really great mask is that yes, it has retinol in it, which is great, but it also, um, it's also is soothing and calming and it does not dry tight on the skin, which is great for me because my skin is a thinner skin and I'm what you call a combination dry so I only have a little bit of oil around my nose here and a little bit down here on my chin um, I don't really have oil anywhere else the rest of my face is drier so so here we are and like everything I work everything into the skin massage massage because what massage does is it stimulates muscle tone but it also brings oxygen to the blood so we want to work it in really nice and as i said i was concerned about my decollete because i haven't been as diligent when i'm driving even though i'm just driving 10 minutes here and there um it's this area here i just i'm noticing it's getting more sun damage and of course that happens from past you know issue past time as well when i was a lot younger um, but I just want to be really protective of it because this area here is so delicate and you want to nurture it and take care of it so that you have a really pretty decollete, you know, as we get older, which is really what we want. Okay, so this mask I'm going to leave on the skin for probably about eight minutes and it's going to help to lighten up my freckles, but it's really going to give my skin a nice boost as well. So I'm going to... Uh, work it in here and leave it on the skin about eight minutes and that's going to be my boosting evening guys so I'm um, I just wanted to show you what my boosting treatment was for myself tonight and just sort of how I'm taking care of my skin because when I take this off I know my skin's going to be really pretty and uh, take a picture of it after I leave this on so you can see how good it looks after this but anyway that's my boosting treatment for the night what do you guys do for your boosting treatment once I take this off I'm going to put a little bit more retinol back on my skin a little bit more of the Q and the retinol and then a little bit of a moisturizer over top of that and uh, some eye gel and then I'm going to be that's what I'm going to wear to bed. And then the other additional thing that I'm going to put on, um, apart from um, things on my face, is on my lips. And I have um, this new Laneige. I have a lot of their different lip colors, their lip balms and everything, but this is their new one. It's their berry one. It's a sweet candy. And it's really nice. Um, and I'm gonna put a little bit on because I got a little bit of mask on my so we'll just put that on there. This is a lip mask, but I use it all the time in the morning and I use it at night when I go to bed as well. And I have like, I have tons of this stuff here. Oops. So see, I have these different ones. I've got the green one at home, which is the pear, and I've got this one here too. So um, this is Laneige. It's a really, really nice. It's actually the best lip mask that I've ever used. And uh, I let them know that and they actually sent me some of these so I could use them here which is really great. So thank you, Laneige. <laughs>
but um, but that's it so that's my regimen for the night I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and I will take it off and I'll, I'll post out a photo and you can see what my skin looks like after but um, yeah I just want to I wanted to give it a boost so I want to leave it I'm gonna do a boost up here around my eyebrows too but that's my regimen so let me know what you guys are doing for your boosts um, on your skin and your decollete and your neck really important so thanks for watching see you soon